In this video, we will visit the interactive album of map projections website to help us understand more about distortion patterns with different projections. First, navigate to the website using the link in the description. Notice the drop down menu on the bottom left. This lets you toggle between different projections. Change the projection to Mercator, then click on the box that says Distortion Ellipses. These ellipses show a series of circles at each intersection of longitude and latitude. The circles represent the same area across the map. However, some may appear different sizes or different shapes. In this case, the ellipses are all the same shape but some are larger than others. This shows us where the ellipses are larger, there's more distortion or stretching in these areas. Now change the projection to the Lambert conformal conic projection. Notice that the ellipses are significantly larger as they move south on the grid lines. Again, the ellipses are the same shape but they're very different sizes. As you move towards the South Pole, they get much larger. They are much smaller at the North Pole, and you can change the standard parallel, or the standard parallel two in this case. Think about if this is a secant or a tangent projection. Next, change the projection to the Albers Equal Area Conic Projection. Since this is an equal area projection, you may notice the size of the ellipses are all the same, but the shape is very distorted as you move south. This is because they are least distorted at the standard parallels, which are in the northern hemispheres. Now pick a projection of your choosing and explain a little bit about the distortion ellipses and the pattern that you see.